my department currently has about 390 employees in it. I have um, several leaders that work underneath me. There's nothing that I have asked a staff member who works in my department to do that I have not been willing to do myself or they haven't seen me do. So I think that goes a long way when you have that level of respect with your employees. At the end of the day, our role and responsibility as a healthcare institution is to provide care and compassion to patients and families. Now those patients and families may be our own families, maybe our brothers, our sisters, our cousins. So at the end of the day, I want a department that functions and provides care to individuals in a way that I would be proud or I want my own family to be cared for if I wasn't here. Baptist Health is a very, um, a very well-known institution that is a not-for-profit organization that places a high degree of importance upon their employees. As a leader, employees look to you to see how you are. I can say one thing, but what do I do? So um, seeing me at the bedside, seeing me in the department, seeing my interactions with other leaders, with other staff members, just seeing the interactions that my employees have with me, having an open door policy, being willing to talk to them, um, I think that sets the tone. I think that's the expectation, is talking to people like people and interacting with people. The institution is the employees. So what um, I hire for and look for in my department is employees who are going to be working here and are going to carry on for the next 20, 30, 40 years of Baptist Health. The next patient in the door could be someone who is simply here because they have a broken finger. The next person after that could be here because they're having a catastrophic life-changing stroke. Um, that's a hard thing to be able to manage that dynamic as an individual, but if you enjoy and love emergency nursing, that brings a lot of reward to you as an individual to be able to intervene in those situations.